Now, uh, now going to move on from the tip to the osteotomies. So I'm going to inject a little local on either side for the osteotomies. And then I'm going to get a 2 millimeter osteotome. And I'm going to go parallel to the face of the maxilla. And I'm just going to mark this percutaneously. So it really goes parallel to the face of the maxilla. I'll go in, I'll spread laterally, I'll skip 2 millimeters, come down just to, to the aperture, then come up, skip two millimeters, two millimeters, just below the medial canthus. I'm gonna go superior oblique, unless it digitally infractures. And I'm closing the open roof, you can see that. So now I'm gonna do, parallel to the face of the maxilla, I'm gonna tap, tap, Dorothea. I'm gonna sweep now, tap, tap. Now she's very fragile, tap, 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 tap. And I'm gonna come back out, Tap, 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 tap. I can feel with my non-dominant hand that it's already infractured. Tap, 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 tap. Now, when the, when the other thing I'm doing, I'm, and I rarely take it out, but I'm just gonna show you. I know I've done a superior oblique maneuver. Tap, tap. I'm now hold pressure on that. Do the same thing on the other side. She's got very small, fragile nasal bones, and I'm gonna just do that. And it's very important to hold pressure on that side while I do the other side. And I don't think, yeah, well, you can see it pretty well. Tap, tap. 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 Then I get a moist gauze. We will gently put it on top, and then I'll digitally Actually, I don't even have to digitally infracture. This has done two things. It has closed her wide nasal roof and also brought in her brought in her nasal base a bit. And you know, and the great thing is, you know, we didn't need to use spreader gas because I kept my upper laterals. I kept all of the upper laterals in place like I like I showed you. So I really trimmed only about a millimeter on each side. So you don't need an upper you don't need to do spreader grafts. In a lot of these patients. So I think the, the, the whole emphasis here is invisible grafts. Use only grafts if you need them, like a Calumala strut. And I think we overuse spreader grafts a lot. I think we, we do too many spreader grafts because I see patients that have wide nasal dorsums and uh, they don't like that. So um, I, like, I like how this looks. I think I'm going to do a radix graft, which is something I don't like to do very often. But I morselize this radix graph and I put it up in place. I'm going to do that next.